Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and we have some leftover dye after the July 2020 Chemnitz Dialong live stream. These are some liquid half percent stock solutions that I made during the stream. And even this water, and there's even a little bit of dye there on the side that you can see, this water is left over from the stream as well. I just added 100 grams of Knit Pick Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn to the pot, and we're gonna come, and we've got about 100 milliliters of our red, and maybe, uh, 175 milliliters of black that we'll add to this yarn. So we've got, I would say that will probably be about one and a half grams of dye total, so not too much for one skein. Let's start with our red. And I'm getting the red out of our sponge. And then just adding that, I'll add a little bit of liquid to this container. We'll add more vinegar as is needed, but I'm curious if that's going to strike super, super quickly or what. Uh, well, I don't mind much about like color spread. This is a fairly random kind of colorway that we're going for. Uh, adding our reds, then using my gloved hands. This color looks <laughs> looks a little a little scary um, but we've got acid but not heat yet so that should help with our color absorption and then we have a lot more of our black as I'm trying to remove some and then bring it in for sort of shimmy this yarn around. I don't want to lift it because I don't want to mix all the colors completely, but I don't mind there being some amount of color mixing going on here. Cool. And now I'm just going to turn on the heat. And I'm going to keep this on medium heat. Um, until the pan heats up and then I will reduce things to low. This colorway we're creating right here is a lot, quote, softer than the kinds of things I was aiming for during the live stream. And by softer, I mean that the transition is sort of subtle. There's going to be some blending going on. And I mean, it's very, very beautiful, but those things exist. It's a little, it still fits the inspiration of the clock a bit, but it's uh, the the feelings that the, the photo evokes are a little bit different from the feeling the yarn gives. But nevertheless, this would count for that as very much, but it's, I mean, this is a separate video, so it's being kept separate, but I don't know. I like red and black together. Anyway. I am going to heat this up and we'll come back in about 20 minutes and check in on it. All right, we still have a fair amount of red down by the end, a little bit of black down at this end. So I think what I want to do now, well, we've just moved things because um, I was like tempted to add more liquid, but maybe I'll wait. Let's wait 10 more minutes and then we'll add more liquid. Another 10 minutes later, we still have some of the red, but I think almost all of the black has exhausted. Just giving it a little bit of help. Oh, that's not very much red. Again, let's help you red. Let's help you. <laughs> let's all help each other here in the pan. Um, all right, I am going to add a little splash of vinegar and we're going to shake things up. There's not enough color left that I feel like um, we can't mix things around a bit and honestly that did help almost everything clear. 
I'm gonna turn off the heat, but I'll leave the yarn here in the pan so it can cool completely. And once it's cool, then we will go and wash it. Let's wash our yarn. I think, to me, Cherry Bomb today is feeling very raspberry um, versus more of a true red. It's not technically a primary, but I think I want to grab some other reds for my collection because Fire, was it Fire Red or Fire Engine Red, isn't my favorite. But I'm not really seeing any bleeding here, which is good because from the batch, the Cherry Bomb I had seen a bit of bleeding uh, from today's dyeing. Okay, let's see. Eh, there's maybe a hint of something. I've just added a little bit of dish soap and I am going to keep washing this until the water runs clear, but what I'm seeing with the soap was not bright pink, so I am encouraged. And once I'm done rinsing, I'll put the yarn through my spin dryer, then hang it up to dry, and we'll come back to some conclusions. Ugh. It started bleeding. Um, it's not bad right now, but it got bad at one point. Oh man, I'll just keep rinsing it. Uh, and if I don't pop back in, then it means that it rinsed out and it's good and then it's now drying. This on camera actually doesn't look pretty bad. Um, I didn't grab the camera when it was really bad, but this is definitely a lot more than there was at the beginning of the washing, so I'm confused. <laughs> but we'll go with it. A little bit of some vinegar in the soap made the bleeding go away. So if you're worried about bleeding uh, and you're going to be blocking something, I recommend just throwing a bit of vinegar into your rinse. The finished yarn is gorgeous. We've got the saturated berry red on one side and more, it's not quite black, I used to say a deep charcoal gray close to black, almost matte black, um, and then some blending, some pinks and some more grays in the middle here. The colorway is not perfectly repeating, by which I mean we have a larger pastel pe section here, shorter over there, and so there will be some variety, and if you knit, say, two socks at a time from either end, they could end up looking different which isn't a problem, but you know, you're not gonna, this isn't a great skein to use for planned pooling or something like that. And when I'm saying socks might not be the same, they wouldn't, the yarn isn't necessarily asymmetric, it not, wouldn't necessarily feel like a gradient, but it might not be the, like the perfect match. I hope that makes sense. As for color bleeding, we touched on some strategies earlier, but uh, add vinegar to the pre-soak. Vinegar in the cool water stopped any bleeding. Uh, colors are much more likely to bleed in hot water. I'll admit I was frustrated when the bleeding happened, but I'm glad that acid made it stop. And when dealing with a pigmented red of hand dyed or commercial dyed, it's always worth checking to see if it'll bleed before you decide to pair it with say a pastel color, especially color work or stripes or something, do just like a little swatch test uh, to see if the colors might run together before you go and finish your project. I am Rebecca from Kempitz and I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, turn notifications on by pressing that little bell icon that's near the subscribe button. Notifications on should mean that YouTube will share with you when I start a new live stream or release a new video, so then you won't miss anything. But if you're concerned about missing things, uh, you can also follow me on social media. Um, I'm at Chemnitz on Instagram and I'm just Chemnitz on Facebook. I often share to my stories when I'm going to do a live stream, and so that's a good way to sort of see more up-to-date announcements, if you will. This skein of yarn, plus all of the yarn that I dyed in the July 2020 Chemnitz Dye Along livestream, is all going to end up in the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop, along with dozens and dozens of other skeins of yarn that I've featured in my videos. So if you're interested in the yarn, you should head over there to check it out. There will be a link in the video description and in the iCard, which is on the top right hand corner of the screen. Man, I had forgotten how much I like red and black or red and gray or just dealing with contrasts like this. Black is a color I really, really like to dye with, but I feel like 
I use navy a bit more than black. Of the black acid dyes I've tried, Dharma True Black is beyond, without a shadow of a doubt, it is my favorite. It doesn't break, it's great for speckles, and I've always been happy with the color intensity. But yeah, I mean, this just feels so new and different from a lot of the things I've done recently, and so I'm really, really excited. Don't forget to go and check out the Leave No Dye Behind playlist. I like to save leftover dye from projects and we throw it together in many different ways. So if you want to see some very impromptu dye by feel throwing everything together in a pot type videos, there's a lot <laughs> in that playlist. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you so much for watching.